Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Belle, and she is going to talk to us about being a state title holder and her prep for Miss Volunteer America. So, Belle, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, sure. So, hi everybody. I'm Belle Grace Nichols. I am the newly crowned Miss West Virginia Volunteer 2024. As of two days ago, um, last two days have been a complete whirlwind. Um, I am a future nurse. I'm an av- avid blood donor. Um, I'm a musician. I'm just really passionate about my state and about West Virginia, and I cannot wait to share everything with you guys. I love it. I love it. So talk to us about how you got started in pageantry in general. Yeah, sure. So I grew up in a family where we all did pageants. Um, so it was no surprise when I wanted to do them myself. Um, my mom's uh, third grade teacher, I believe it was, was the one that actually got me involved in the Miss America organization when I was 13. So after she she was a local director and I, she, I was so grateful to be able to compete in one of her locals and I didn't win unfortunately but it put the bug in my ear that that's what I wanted to do um did four locals that season ended up winning the very last title the second title at the very last pageant I won um at just shy 13 years old with the flu <laughs> competing um but yeah, so from then on, I just competed at Miss America, and I thought this year, why not step outside my comfort zone and try something new? I love it, and here you are. That's awesome. Um, okay, so talk to us about talk to us about your platform. You know, what is it? What have you been doing with it? What are you? What are your future plans are for it? Yeah, sure. So we call ours our serve initiative. So my serve initiative is be positive, be a blood donor, and it's centered all around all around the importance of blood donation and encouraging people to donate and telling them why we do the things that we do as blood donors. So in 2017, my sister Regan's life was saved because of a plasma donor. Um, Mm -hmm. So because of that, I mean, I was sparked in my interest in medicine way before she was even sick. But because of that, I knew that the field of hematology and blood specifically was what I wanted to go into. So the second that I turned 16, I found a blood drive and I signed up for it. Um, and ever since then, it's just that's that's what I'm meant to do. I love it. I love it. And another part of, you know, competing is talent. So tell us about your talent. What is it? What's your background with your talent? And how do you go about selecting a piece for state and nationals? Yeah. So I had a lot of trouble when I first started pageantry, deciding on a talent. I play four instruments. So it was really hard for me to decide what I wanted to do. And, you know, I, everyone was telling me, you should play flute. You're good at this. You have these specific skill sets in the flute. I was like, okay, so I'll do it. So that's what I started off as. Um, But eventually I was like, you know what? I think I want to sing. And everyone's like, you don't, you don't sing. Like, why are you, why are you singing? But um, no, so I decided to be a singer. The pageant that I won, I, and ever since then, I just have been a vocalist. My grandma's a vocalist, so I think that she really inspired me to make that leap. But yeah, so I love it. I love singing. That's so funny that you're like, not not one of the four that I already have mastered. I'm going to a new one. I love that. I want to step outside my comfort zone and try something new. And I'm really glad that I have my grandma to lean on. And she is actually what inspired me to pick my um, national song and the song I sang at Miss West Virginia last year. But it took a while to step outside my comfort zone and do that, too. But it's finally time. And I'm really grateful for her and my family for being really supportive about it. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. And I'm sure you've been prepping a lot for that. Uh, But talk to us about your prep for Miss Volunteer America. You know, what have you been focusing on? What have you been doing? Sure. So this is the first time I've ever competed in swimsuit. So I am a stranger to swimsuit competition. I know it's as teens, I competed in fitness and we did fitness last year, but never swimsuit. So I've really been focusing a lot on eating healthy. I'm insulin resistant. I have a hard time losing weight. Um, So just making sure my health is my number one priority and losing weight in a healthy way and not even about losing weight, just being healthy overall. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm one of those people that needs to work out for mental health reasons as well. So just using that as my prep for Miss Volunteer America, it's honestly all around helped me prepare, not just the fitness aspect, but staying in a good mindset and being confident. Um, And then obviously the interviews, the talent, all of the main pageant girl things that we do, those things I've been doing. But I'm actually partnering with Red Cross right now. Um, Just got off the phone with them before I hopped on here with you. But yeah, so we have some things in the works there and just just really excited. And Nationals for Teen is in a couple weeks, getting to meet my sisters and I'm just really, really excited. Lots of fun stuff coming up. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah, coming up. everything. Okay, final question. If you could give one piece of advice to a first-year title holder, what would it be? 
I know everybody says it, but be yourself. I mean, you're not going, like I said, with the whole talent thing, you're not going to be successful until you're your true authentic self. And I've noticed that a lot. And pageantry has been such a blessing. It's helped me grow as a person, as a woman, as a future nurse, as all around in life. Honestly, it's helped me grow. And you can't do that if you're not going to be your authentic self. And then I know it's it's hard when you see other girls competing and it's easy to compare, but you're, you will be the most success, successful when you are the best version of yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Belle, for coming on and chatting with me and <laughs> about your year and all the things that you're doing. And just know that we'll be cheering you on at nationals. Yes, and you too. Thank you. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.